Hi, everybody. I'm Sherry Hudson Passy from the Sleek Committee, and with me today is Catherine Damaris and Michael Ramage. And we are going to talk about their virtual class for the Academy for two, 2022. <laughs> so it's the year coming up. And they are teaching Beyond Fundamentals, hands on forensic genealogy. And I have to tell you that I was able to take this class somewhere else and be one of part of the inauguratory, you know, first one. And it was fabulous. You guys, if you're interested in this, you are going to love this class. Um, so let's start off by just asking, you know, who, who is this class for? Who did you create this class for? Um, I created the class for aspiring and newer foren practicing forensic genealogists. Because when I first started um, in the field, I relied on a lot of my colleagues to help support me and teach me um, how to do things. So we're hoping to give that back in a more formal manner to people coming into the field now. And also another reason um, that we wanted to create the class was there's that age old conundrum of um, you have to have experience to get experience. Yes. Um, and yes. attorneys and other clients want to hire people that have some experience, but how do you get experience if you need it to get hired? So the idea behind this is we would give students a lot of practical experience from actual cases and let them talk the cases through, think them through, write research plans, practice the research, and then see how the forensic genealogy who actually had that case, mm -hmm. the forensic genealogist um, actually solved that case or what their research plan was and um, besides getting practice with real life cases, um, also forming relationships with their colleagues um, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. establishing some networks so that when you do run into tricky cases or tricky situations, yes. you can you have colleagues to call on that you formed relationships with in this course. Fabulous, fabulous. Now, um, who, how, how well, how will everything work? Is it going to be, like you said, hands-on? So you're, you've got those cases and then people learn a little bit about how to do those cases and they work it through. So that's how the class will work, right? Michael, do you want to talk about that one? Sure. Almost all of the classes are hands-on where many of them are practicums, mm -hmm. which we're going to teach the principles at least to some degree. Yes. And then we're going to lay out the questions for them to resolve. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to break out and go into breakout rooms for the most part, sometimes individually, mm -hmm. and then uh, do the work and come back. The students will report their findings mm -hmm. and then we'll go over what we did in completing our case. Now, we have the added benefit in SLIG in 2022 that for many of those where we teach the 75 minute class, then we come back the next week. So the students have a whole week right. to do what they need to do uh, to get back to us and, and report their findings. And then we'll follow up with that. So yeah, it's, it's much, much more hands-on than yeah. fundamentals of Mm -hmm. so, and I was just going to ask, yeah. is there is there a pre prerequisite? Should somebody have taken the fundamental class first or what? Who, who do you want this class to be for? How much experience does somebody need to have? The intention Catherine. is that people have taken the fundamentals of forensic genealogy will very occasionally make an exception if someone is a practicing forensic genealogist and has some experience in the field. Um, but there's been a lot of people who have taken fundamentals and have been itching for this course and waiting <laughs> for this course for a long time. So uh, we don't give too many waivers because we do want to give um, preference to the people that have been waiting a long time for this class. But we did uh, grant a, a couple of waivers. But That's primarily it's intended for people who have taken fundamentals. And, and if I could add, yeah. we started teaching this type of course back in 2012 and have been doing it at least annually, sometimes semi-annually since that as a, as a fundamentals course. Mm -hmm. The students repeatedly said, we really would love to get more hands-on. So yes. it, it took a bunch of years for us to get up the time and, <laughs> and 
and uh, ability to put together another full set of courses. And, and plus, since we already taught this on Zoom previously, mm -hmm. we have gotten the wrinkles out of the course and I think uh, we can even do a better job this time to, to make the students happy. Another advantage we have with this format is that um, we have a private Facebook group um, mm -hmm. for all the students in the class. Yes. So with a week between each session, we'll be able to answer questions about the homework. Um, we'll be able to discuss things. We'll be able to maybe throw out a new question or a new problem. Um, we won't be confined just to the 75 minute session with another 75 minute session, another one and another one right after it. So yeah. um, you mentioned you mentioned that homework word. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about homework because I know a lot of people like the homework kind of gets to them. But like you're saying, you've got that whole week. It's not like being right there in Salt Lake where you've got you've got things to do every night. So talk just a little bit about the homework. I think to get the most out of this course, um, people will want to complete the homework. Uh, that's because it is a hands-on class, and that's how you learn and get that experience of solving that case or you know, creating that research plan or whatever it is, but their homework is not mandatory. Um, that's, you know, we're all adult learners. We're all responsible for our own education. Nice. Um, so nice. it's up to the person how they wish to complete the homework, but um, and there, also, there will be assignments every week. Mm -hmm. to that. And also we tried to provide enough information and pick cases that could be resolved in a, a for our case, it's a relatively small amount of time. It's not that, that helps. <laughs> 20, hours, Twenty hours of research yeah. <laughs> to do and writing to get back to the next class. So that yeah. that helps. Um, there'll be other instructors that will be teaching as well. And who who are they? Uh, Kelvin Myers has been our partner in crime for almost a decade now. So Kelvin is teaching with us. And then we have a new instructor, Linda Hunter, um, who's doing some great practicum sessions and did just a super job in the um, inaugural course. Yes. Yes. And then we have one new instructor joining us for SLIG. Um, Francesca Worden is going to uh, have a hands-on session about dual citizenship, um, particularly wow. Italian dual citizenship. So I'm really excited to be working with great. her too. Sounds yeah. wonderful. Go ahead, Michael. Yeah. With, with that addition, we really have rounded out the group of teachers mm -hmm. for a lot of expertise. Uh, Calvin, of course, being in Texas, does a lot of oil and gas uh, and a lot of testifying. Of course, Catherine does repatriation as well as all the usual forensic ends and a lot of uh, DNA, genetic genealogy. And, and now with Francesca, we have that other area mm -hmm. of dual citizenship covered. And, and Linda's just great, yes. uh, yeah. very bright, wonderful teacher. So uh, all good. All good, it sounds wonderful. Okay, so what do you hope the students that take this course, what do you hope for them by the end? What, what is your goal for them? What, what do you want them to achieve by the end of this class? What we would really like to achieve is to make them such experts that they're gonna steal all our business so that we can retire. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, that's too funny. My goal is that um, the students gain confidence so they don't feel like, gee, this is something I'd kind of like to do, but I'm not sure. I'd like them to feel confident coming out of the course and feel like, you know, I've tackled a couple difficult problems here mm -hmm. and I'm not afraid of what might get thrown my way. And if an attorney might say to them, you know, I have this case, these are the circumstances, what do you think? They might be able to say, oh, I've worked on something similar yes. to that. Yes, I can handle that. I want them to feel Absolutely. confident. Absolutely. Go ahead, Michael. And, yeah, and, and in the same vein, uh, for one of my courses, I'm gifting the students the license to use a talk that I gave a couple of years ago to mm -hmm. a uh, group of estate and real estate lawyers called forensic genealogy for death and dirt lawyers uh, so that they can either teach lawyers or paralegals the subject matter without having to start from square one. Uh, and, and I think that's a good way to market themselves and, and get us retired from giving them all our business. 
<laughs> that's a fabulous thing that you're doing too, to give that. That's, that's really a wonderful piece of information for everybody that takes the course to have. So I appreciated you being, you doing that and you know, your goals for the class. I felt like I came out when I took it so much more empowered about so many things that I'd wondered if I could do, because I do do the repatriation, but you know, there's more out there. So I know for me, those things, all, everything that you said, I'm not going to be able to take over for you, but <laughs> I, um, I did feel more empowered about these other types of cases. So it is everything that you've hoped that it would be. And so anything that anybody wanting to go further would want, they need to sign up for this class and registration is coming up pretty soon. So I hope that those of you who have been thinking about taking this class got a little bit more information about what might be going on. And I do want to tell you the dates. They are going to be, there's two sessions. So Wednesdays at 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Um, that's Mountain Standard Time. And then Wednesdays at um, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Well, it's all Mountain Time. Everything's Mountain Daylight Time. So, <laughs> so if uh, these are the classes that you that you want to take, you're interested in forensics, I would highly recommend it. And was there anything else? Are you, or is there anything else you wanted to say? Or do you think we covered everything about this course? No, just that I'm really excited to meet our new students and get going in the springtime. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, y'all will have so much fun. It is a really, really good class. If you're interested in forensic genealogy, you need to take this class. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Sherry. And Thanks. Good luck, everybody with SLIG. And, and we'll see you virtually <laughs> this spring. Yes. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. -bye.